Okay guys, what is going on, Pete on the beat here. I decided to film this video in order to answer this question. The question is how many grams of carbs and what kinds or what types of carbs you need to consume when you go on a ketogenic diet and the simplest and most accurate in my personal opinion. The best question I can give you right off the bat is you don't need to consume any kinds of carbohydrates when you go on a ketogenic diet. And this is the whole purpose of going on a ketogenic diet your body is going to rely on fats instead of glucose so you don't need to have any carbohydrates in your daily meal plan or whatever but if you really want to have some there is a bit of a protocol and certain rules that I'm about to give you in this video in order to to, to stay to incorporate some carbs in your diet and not interfere the fat burning process and maintain the ketogenic state so the first thing that I would like to mention and the first thing that you you need to pay attention to when you go on a ketogenic diet and you probably already know this if you do bodybuilding if you're interested in health fitness and that kind of stuff not all of the carbohydrates are equal and this makes a huge difference especially when you go on a ketogenic diet and there are certain types of carbs that are your probably worst enemy and you should avoid all of these by any means and though those are all of the starch carbs such as rice, breads, potatoes, uh, the processed sugars, the, the sweeteners that are hidden here and there and you should avoid all of that stuff. They will probably make you pop out of, out of ketosis instantly, immediately after you consume them and you should replace all of those with some green leafy veggies, green leafy and cruciferous veggies such as cauliflower, broccoli, spinach, avocados, probably a little bit of, of kale here and there. All of the, the carbs that those veggies consist basically are only fiber and they are really really low in, in carbohydrates so they, they are your best friend as long as for carbs on a ketogenic diet if I can put it like this and the second thing that is also really important that you should pay attention to is the the, the amounts of carbs you, you consume on a day-to-day -day basis a 30 grams of carbohydrates is something that is like a gold standard for a lot of people but it actually depends with each and every individual and his or her genetics and most important his or her carb sensitivity and how many carbs that individual can tolerate on a day-to-day -day basis because there are a lot of people who can do really well with probably up to 50 to 60 grams while others can tolerate 50 to 60 grams of carbohydrates and the best thing I can uh, recommend you to do in order to find out what is your personal carb sensitivity is to buy uh, one of these glucometers that measures not only blood glucose levels but ketone ketone levels uh, in your blood glucose I think the I think the I think the name of this particular model is Precision Extra. It is available on Amazon, so I definitely recommend you get your hands on one of these. And there is another method, but I do not recommend this for someone who just starts now or a month, two months or even three months ago. This is more for like a more experienced uh, dieters or individuals. Um, or for a highly adapted individuals, if I can put it like this, simple experiment with different amounts of carbs, 30 to 40 to 50 grams, and see how your body reacts and responds. And if something makes you pop out of ketosis, you're definitely gonna notice a huge difference in your mood on the next day, in your brain performance, and overall how you feel on the next day. You can use this one, but I do not recommend it for you if you if you ain't. Uh, highly adapted individual and the last thing that I would like to discuss in this video is a bit like a taboo type of thing for a lot of people the name of it is dairy the reason why it's taboo because a lot of people can't to tolerate dairy they have that dairy intolerance and if you're that type of guy or a gal I highly recommend you stay away from dairy avoid dairy by any means and there is another thing that 
I would like to mention a lot of those people who can tolerate dairy, they actually do really well when they incorporate butter. Just the fact that I would like to point out. And on another hand, if you are that type of guy or a girl who can tolerate dairy and you want to have some dairy in your meal plan when you go on a ketogenic diet, there are certain rules that, should you, that you should follow in order to maintain your ketogenic state. Always avoid the processed dairy that is packed with sugars, fructose, um, the yogurts that are packed with some fruits and all that, uh, all that weird stuff. Also avoid the low fat stuff, always go with the full fat, organic if it's possible, products such as full fat, full fat sour cream, half and half, the butter of course, grass fed butters, such as grass fed ghee, if you can buy grass fed ghee, this, this is awesome product, I use it for cooking, it, it's great, so yeah, and pay attention to the fact that all of those full fat dairy have a little bit of carbs as well and all of those carbs count so definitely take your time to read the label in order to make the proper calculation of your daily daily carb intake in order to maintain the ketogenic state so as a conclusion the thing that i would like to say is when you go on a ketogenic diet you don't need to eat any any carbohydrates if you are the type of person that have no problem with eating only steaks, eggs, fishes, butter and some or some meat, uh, then this is great, you're gonna be perfectly fine, everything will be great. So yeah, I hope you find this video helpful, I'm a wrap it up for now, I would like to thank you for watching this video, please stay tuned for more, I'm a wrap it up for now, peace and I'm out.